Hi, thanks for joining me. Today, we're going to learn something new to help us with our addition. I'll tell you more about it right after I pour myself something to drink and I'll meet you at my desk. lesson we're going to be learning all about an addition equation. We'll get started and I'll show you what I mean. Take a look at my counters. I'm going to set out some eggs. Hopefully they don't roll away. There's one group of eggs and another group of eggs. Can you help me count my eggs all together? One, two, three, four, five, and then I have two more. Let's put them all together now, and how much do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you see how I did that? I had two separate groups, and I put them all together. Well, let me show you what that looks like with an addition equation. Do you remember how many eggs I started with first? Five. So let me write five. I have five eggs. And then how many do I have in my second group? Two. And remember how we put them together? We showed that using a plus sign. Plus means put together. So I had five and I put together two more. And how many do we have all together now? Seven. We show that with the equal sign. The equal sign means all together or sometimes makes seven. We can say five and two makes seven or five plus two equals seven, or five and two more make seven. All different ways we say it mean the same thing. The plus sign means put together, and the equal sign means it makes, or all together, that's my answer. So this side is the same as this side. Do you catch that? Let's try it some more. Let me erase my board. And let's do one more time with my eggs and then I'll trade out my counters. You can keep watching at home. Let's just keep my seven. And this time, let's add three more. So how many are in my first group? Let's count them one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And how many are in my second group? One, two, three. So listen to my story now. I went out to my chicken coop and I opened the door and I saw seven eggs all ready for me in the morning. And then in the afternoon, I saw three more eggs. All together, how many eggs do I have? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In one day, I was able to bring in ten eggs. So let's show that with my addition equation. In the morning, I had seven eggs. In the afternoon, I was able to add in three more eggs. So I put a plus sign and I had three more eggs. Now all together, seven and three make how many? Do you remember what we said? Seven, let's put that in our head and three more, eight, nine, 10. Seven plus three, equals 10, or seven and three more makes 10. Or how about this? 
seven plus three is 10 all together. I said the same problem three different ways and they're all okay. So let's try it with some different counters. I'm going to clear my board and instead of just using eggs, let's use some eggs and apples. Here we go. Hmm. Let's take out my whole carton of eggs. So I went to the store and I wanted some eggs for my baking and apple pie. So I bought six eggs and I needed three apples. Let's see how much I bought all together. How many eggs did I buy? One, two, three, four, five, six. I had six eggs. Did any of you see three and three make six? I love when I see that. So I had six eggs. And how many apples did I buy? Three apples. And then I put them in the same bag to carry them home. So how much did I bring home all together? I'm adding it together, so I want to put the plus sign. Six and three more equals six. Do you have the answer already? Six, seven, eight, nine. I have six eggs and three apples makes nine all together. Now, can you come up with a new story for my eggs and apples for your teacher? And then maybe your teacher can tell you a new story. For our next problems, I need you to get your dry erase marker and your whiteboard ready. When you have those, press play and we'll continue. Good, are you ready? This time I'm gonna show you an addition problem and I want you to write the equation at home. Do you think you're up for that? Let's practice. So look at my counters. This time I have, let me start with the circle so it's easier to see. I'm gonna put a big circle again. This time I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red counters in my circle. And I'm going to add in three more counters. How many counters are in my circle all together? Let's write it out together. How many red counters did I start with? If you forgot, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we started with seven red counters and I added in some blue counters. So what should we put in the middle? The plus sign, or we should put the plus sign next because I added in. How many blue counters did I add in? Three, one, two, three. Do you have this written so far? I started with seven red counters. I added in three more counters. Now we need to see how many do we have all together. Do you remember what the equal sign looks like? One line on top of another line and they're the same size. Seven plus three equals or makes, how many are in my circle all together? Seven, eight, nine, 10. Do you remember how to write a 10? A one and then a zero. Seven plus three equals 10. Seven and three more make 10. Let's do that again, but using some different numbers. So erase your board and I'll take out my counters 
and we'll try this again. Was that hard or easy? Or was it kind of fun? I thought it was kind of fun. Here we go. I'm going to put some more counters in and I want you to count them before I say the answer. I'm starting with some blue counters this time. There. Now watch what happens. Did you count the blue counters? Now what happens? Can you tell your teacher an addition story for what just happened? Did you tell your story? Now let's ride it out together. How many blue counters did we start with? One, two, three, four, five. So let's write our blue counters. There's five blue counters. And what happened with the red counters? Did they join in the circle? Yes. We put a plus sign because we added more to our circle. How many red counters did we add? Yep. Three more. And now, how many counters are in my circle all together? Do you already know the answer? Five and three more. Five, six, seven, eight. Did you get eight? How do we show our answers eight? Five plus three equals the equal sign or makes five plus three equals eight. Five and three more make eight. Do you see how this works? It's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. So I'm gonna show you one more problem and then you get to write it out for your teacher and then we'll be done. Here we go. Let me clear this out for you. Are you ready? Now, tell your teacher the story and write it out for your teacher. Bye, see you next time.